shooting ended in that crash. We've been telling you a manhunt is underway. This is a picture of that search. The scene again along US 74 and Polkville Road west of downtown Shelby. We've learned that deputies now have that area completely closed off. Our Erica Lunsford just got near the scene and she's joining us live. So uh, Erica, have you been able to get many details so far? John, unfortunately, no, there's was a chopper flying around. They can see them. I don't know if you guys can see them this way in the distance. Um, they have been circling around in this area. We have seen a few police cars zoom down this part near Randolph Road that is currently blocked off right now uh, with their sirens going. We are hearing some sirens still off in the distance as well. And just my, making the drive up here today, I saw lots of unmarked cars uh, near wooded areas along the street uh, having them blocked off as well. Uh, that's all the information that we are that we are seeing right now. And again, the information that you guys mentioned just a moment ago, you know, we started this chase started in Lincoln County in the Laurel Hill area west of Vail, and deputies say they got a hint of a license plate of a car stolen from a Lowe's earlier today in Catawba County, and deputies tell us they tried to get the driver out of the car, but that they took off and started shooting at officers, and deputies shot back. They then say that led them on a chase into Cleveland County. That's where deputies say they, the man wrecked the car and jumped out, and deputies say he fired shots at them again and then ran into the woods. The good news is that no officers were hit by gunfire. We're told deputies arrested a woman that was in the car. But again, as you can see, this is the scene right now. We are still far away from, I assume, the actual scene where the car crash, uh, the wreck rather, happened. But they do have this section of Randolph Road blocked off. This is as close as we can get right now. We'll keep you guys updated with the very latest as soon as we learn more. All right, thanks, Erica. We'll check back in.